तो नेक्स्ट लेटर स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ नंबर्स ओके टू फाइंड द डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ नंबर्स देर इज सम टेस्ट टू टेक दैट ओके टू फाइंड वेदर अ गिवन नंबर पर्टिक्युलर नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय एनी नंबर टू टू डू दैट यू हैव अ पर्टिक्युलर इजी मेथड्स फॉर दैट टू फाइंड वेदर अ गिवन नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय पर्टिक्युलर नंबर और नॉट ओके so that method is called as tests tests for divisibility of numbers so what do we call that as we call that as test for divisibility of numbers okay For example, children, if you take a number that is thirty-eight, if you take a number thirty-eight, how do you know whether from which number it is divisible or not? So, for example, is thirty-eight divisible by two or four or eight? It's divisible by two, four, or eight. We don't know from which number it's divisible. Actually, the normal method to find whether a given number is divisible by particular number or not, we'll just divide by using division method. We'll see that whether a particular number is divisible or not. Right? So. Here we can tell that two two ones are two, so one, so eight. Then two nines are eighteen. Then zero. Two nine. Uh, so thirty eight is divisible by thirty eight. That is two nineteen is eighteen. So doing this division method and finding whether a given number is divisible or not, it takes a long procedure. So to make a work easier to find whether a given number is divisible or not by a easier method we have a one more method to find whether a number is divisible or not so how do you find that so we have divisibility rule divisibility rules for that to find whether a given number is divisible or not so first let us see divisibility rule by 100 okay just before that here by next let us find for 4 4 4 6 49s are 36 right so 8 minus 6 is 2 so with 4 it's not divisible with 2 it's divisible next c for 5 so Five, six are thirty. Five sevens are thirty-five. So eight minus five, you'll get three. So if the remainder, if you get zero for a particular number, then you can tell that that number is divisible by that number. Okay. So here we can tell only two is divisible by only thirty-eight is divisible by two. It's not divisible by either four or five. So, as I told you, this will take a very big procedure. Let us see how to solve it by easier method. Okay. So first, let us see divisibility rule by ten. Okay. So here, what we are doing? We are doing the doing the test for divisibility of numbers. So the first. We'll find divisibility by hundred. So, what is the rules for divisibility by hundred, children? Let us see. Before that, one boy was there called Charu. Charit. One boy was named Charit was looking at the multiples of ten. He was looking at the multiples of ten. The multiples of ten are what we will get. 
the multiples of 10 are 10 20 30 40 50 60 and so on right these are the multiples of 10 then he found that something is common in this number by finding the multiples of 10 he found that something is common in this number so can you tell what is common in this children uh, what is common in this numbers children see observe the numbers in 10 20 30 40 or 50 60 so you have tens place and ones place right so you have ones place and tens place in all the numbers so when you see this in all the numbers in ones place you have zero right see in all these numbers in ones place you have zero right children he came to the conclusion that if a number has zero in the ones place then we can tell that it's a divisible by 10 okay by directly seeing the number by directly seeing a particular number without using division method we can easily tell whether a given number is divisible by that number or not so for divisibility by 10 by seeing one's place value that is if a number has 0 in the if the number has 0 in the one's place then we can tell that then it is said to be divisible by divisible by 10 okay understood children if you have in one's place if you find zero in all the numbers whichever number of digits numbers they give uh, for example if they give five digit or six digit four digit three digit numbers the one thing you have to see is you have to see the ones place value so in ones place value if you find that that number is divisible uh, that uh, ones place value as zero then you can tell that that number is divisible by 10 okay so example we'll take few more example and take 100 see here you have ones tens and hundred so in ones place we have zero right so we can tell that it's divisible by 10 by seeing the ones place value we can directly find whether it's divisible by 10 or not next i'll take number three two zero zero so this is a four digit number so whichever digit they give the one thing you have to see is you have to see the ones place value see what is there in ones place children in ones place you have zero so you can tell that as we have zero in the ones place we can tell it's divisible by 10 okay i'll take 7 2 1 0 so see your children we have 7 2 1 0 in that in ones place we have zero right so as we have zero in ones place we can tell that it's divisible by 100 it's divisible by 10 okay next if we take thousand so in ones place we have zero so we can tell that it's divisible by 10 so this is how you see whether a given number is divisible by particular number or not okay so what does divisibility by 10 tells us divisibility of 10 tells us if a number has zero in the ones place then it is said to be divisible by zero it is said to be divisible by 10 the one thing main you have to see the ones place number okay 
If you find that ones place number zero, you can directly tell that it's divisible by ten. No need to do normal division and see whether a given number is divisible by ten or not. Okay, by seeing only the ones place value, you can directly tell whether that number is divisible by ten or not. Okay. Next, let us see divisibility by five. So there is one boy called Mani. Who found some interesting pattern in the numbers? That is multiples of five. So he found some interesting facts for multiples of five. So let us see the first the multiples of five. So what are the numbers which are multiples of five, children? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty-five and so on, right? So these are the multiples of five. So can you tell whether it has a particular pattern or not? In this also, you can see ones place value and see whether you will get a pattern with these numbers or not. So. You can see ones place value here. We have one digit, so we can tell this is ones place value. Ones tens, ones tens, ones tens. So in all this, if you see ones place value here, we have five here zero five. In ones place we have zero here. Ones place we have five here zero. Then five we have. And so, see in alternate we have five zero five zero five zero. We have alternate numbers as five and zero, right? So we can tell that if a number which has a number in one's place can be either zero or five. If you find one's place value zero or five, you can tell that. That number is divisible by five. Okay. If you find one's place in one's place, if you find either zero or five, you can tell that that number is divisible by five. So, so let us see some examples whether that number is divisible by five or not. Okay. So, what did we see here, children? We saw that. Number which has either zero or five in the in its ones place then we it is said to be. Divisible by five. Okay. If a uh, if if that number number which has either zero or five in its ones place, then it can be said that it is divisible by five. Okay. So let let us take some example and see. For divisibility by five, okay. First example, I'll take one not five, okay. One not five, I'm taking. So here we have ones place, tens place, and hundreds place, okay. So if you see ones place value, we have five. So when we have five or zero in ones place, what can we tell? We can tell that it's divisible by five, okay. Next, I'll take two one five. So see ones place value, ones place value. We have five again, so we can tell that it's divisible by five. Okay. Next, six 
6205. Okay, children, in 6205, in one's place, what we have? In one's place, we have 5. So, we can tell that it's divisible by, by 5. Okay, it's divisible by 5. Next, last example, I'll take 3, 5. Three five zero zero. So here in ones place, what do we have? In ones place, we have zero. So we have if we have zero or five in the ones place, what can we tell? We can tell that it's divisible by five. Okay. So this is the method to find whether a given number is divisible by five or not. Okay. So the main thing here you have to keep in mind is you have to see the ones place value. If the ones place value, if you have 0 or 5 in ones place, you can tell that that number is divisible by 5. Okay. So here if you tell divisibility by 2, so what are the multiples of 2 we are getting? So the multiples of 2 here is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and so on, right? So these are the multiples of 2. Here by seeing the multiples of 2, can you observe any pattern children? You can observe that in one's place you have See, this is one's place. We have one number, so you can tell it has only one's place. Here you have two digits, so you can tell one's and tens place. So, here you have two in one's place. Next, you have four. Next, six, eight. Next, in number ten, you have zero as one's place and one in tens place. If you see in zero, one's place, you have zero. Next, if you see in one's place, you have 2. Again, 4, 6, 8. So, the pattern is repeating as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Here also you have 0, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. Here also you have 2, 4, 6, 8 in one's place. So, what can you conclude with this by seeing this pattern, children? By seeing this pattern, you can tell that if a number is divisible by 2, you can tell that that number is divisible by 2. If its 1's place value is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. If 1's place value of a particular number has 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Then you can tell that that number is divisible by 2. Okay. If a number has 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in the ones place. The number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in the ones place. Then you can tell that then it is said to be divisible by by 2. Okay. If the ones place, if you see ones place and if you find 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, then you can tell that that particular number is divisible by 2. Okay. So, here also we can take some examples. 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, 0. So, 2, 4, 1, 0, here we have 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s, right? So, which place you have to see? You have to see 1s place value. So, 1s place value you have 0. So, if you have 0, what can you tell? You can tell that that number is divisible by 2, okay? 
नेक्स्ट आई टेक फोर थ्री फाइव सिक्स सो यू हैव अगेन वन टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड्स राइट नेक्स्ट इफ यू सी इन वन प्लेस वैल्यू यू हैव सिक्स सो एज वी हैव सिक्स वी कैन टेल दैट इट्स डिविजिबल बाय टू Next, I will take one three five eight. So, in one three five eight, in ones place, what do we have? In ones place, we have eight. So, as we have eight in ones place, we can tell that it's divisible by two. Okay. So, you have to see the ones place value for a given number. If you we get zero two four six eight in the ones place value, you can tell that particular number is divisible by two. Okay. If you find other than zero two four six eight, for example, if you find two. If you find two four six seven, so the thing you have to see is you have to see ones place number. Your ones place number we have seven. So is it divisible by two children? No, it is not divisible by. It is not divisible by two, right? Because in ones place we don't have zero two four six eight, we have seven. So as we have seven in ones place, we can tell that it is not divisible by two. Okay. So like this only, if you get other numbers than zero two four six eight, you can tell that that number is not divisible by two. Okay. So, if you see multiples of three, what are the multiples of three? We have three, nine, three, one's are three, three two's are six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-seven, and so on. Right. So, if you see ones place value of these number, that is here we have three, here six, nine. Two, five, eight, one, seven. So, do you see any pattern in this number, children? So you have three, six, nine, two, five, eight, one, seven. So the numbers are very different, right? So here we can't observe any pattern for this particular number. We don't have any pattern for this number. So, what can we conclude with this divisibility by three rule? So what? What to do for finding the divisibility by three children? So divisibility of three rule says that the sum of digits of a number should be a multiple of three. Then the number is said to be divisible by three. So what do you mean by that? If you take for example twenty one. So here, if I take for example twenty one, so what we have, we have ones place and tens place. In ones place value, we have one. Sorry, here we don't have pattern, right? So we have twenty one. So if we add these two two numbers, you have to split and add. So two plus one, if you had, what is the answer you will get? Three is the answer you will get, right? So, if you see this three, 
this answer you have to see whether it's divisible by 3 or not so 3 is divisible by 3 right so 3 ones are 3 so we can tell that 21 is divisible by 3 understood children you have to see whether 3 is a multiple of you have to see whether this answer by sum of the digits if they give 3 or 4 or 5 digits also you have to take all that sum by adding it okay so you have to take the sum and see the answer if that answer is a multiple of 3 you can tell that it's divisible by 3 okay don't tell 3 is divisible by 3 you have to tell that 21 is divisible by 3 here you have to check you are checking the other the given number is divisible by 3 or not okay so other example i'll take is 219 so i'll take 219 so here we have three digits so you can add all that that is 2 plus 1 plus 9 so if you have by adding all these digits what is the answer you'll get 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. So, see whether 12 is a multiple of 3 children. 12 is a multiple of 3, right? So, we can tell that 2 and 1, 9 is divisible by 3. Okay. Understood, children? This is how you see whether a given number is divisible by 3 or not. Okay. Next, let us take one more example that is 25. So, here I have 2 plus 5. So, if you had 2 plus 5, what is the answer we will get? We will get 7. So, see whether 7 is a multiple of 3. 7 is a multiple of 3 children? No. 7 is not a multiple of 3. So, we can tell that it is not divisible by 3. Okay. So, if a given number is given answer is divisible by 3, you can tell that number is divisible by 3. Otherwise, it is not a divisible by 3. So, here what can we conclude by seeing this example children? By seeing this example, we can conclude that if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Okay. I will write here the statement. If sum of digits, if sum of digits is a multiple of 3, if it is a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 2, then it is Set that number is divisible by 3. Okay. So, if you sum of the digits, then the answer you get should be a multiple of 3. If it is a multiple of 3, then you can tell that that number is a divisible by 3. Okay. Otherwise, you can tell that it is not divisible by 3. Okay, children. This is the divisibility rule by of 3. Okay. So, what is multiples of 4? We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 and so on. 
so can we find any pattern in this children so we have 4 8 12 so in one's place we will have 4 8 2 6 0 4 8 2 6 right so here we can't observe any pattern with a particular so can you observe any pattern in this yeah we can observe because here we have one's place is 4 8 2 6 0 4 8 Again, two six. We have four eight two six zero four eight two six zero. It goes on. So pattern we are seeing is four eight two six zero. That is zero two four six eight. Here also we are seeing zero two four six eight as the pattern, right? The pattern we are seeing this for one's place. So this is the pattern we are observing for one's place children. But the same numbers we have for divisibility rule by 2, right? So, if you get again, if you see in one's place and if you again get like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in one's place, then how will you decide whether it's a divisibility by 2 or 4? How will you decide whether it's divisibility divisible by 2 or 4? Again, you have to... You will get confused, right? Because you have same numbers in divisibility by 2 method. You have 2, 4, 6, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 in divisibility by 2. So, what you will, you will do here is for a particular number, you have to see last two digits, okay? So, the same pattern is there in 2. So, here what you will do? You have to see last 2 digits. For example, I will take 2, 1, 2. Okay, children. So, here we have 1's place, 10's place and 100's place. So, what I told you? You have to see last 2 digits. Last 2 digits we have 12. Right? In any number, whichever digits they give, like if they give 4 digits, 5, 6 digit number, 7 digit number, the one thing you have to see the last 2 digits. If that last 2 digit number is a multiple of 4, then you can tell that it's divisibility by 4, okay. If last 2 digits... If last two digits here we have got is multiple of 4. Should be multiple of 4. Okay. As here it is a multiple of 4. So we can tell that 2, 1, 2 is the divisible by 4. Okay. By seeing last two digits of a given number. If you... If that last two digits is a multiple of 4, then you can tell that it is a divisible by 4. Okay. So, I will take one more example that is 1936 I will take. So, here we have 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000. So, which place you have to see? You have to see 1s place and 10s place value. So, 1s place and 10s place value we have 36. Right. So, is 36 a multiple of 4 children? Yes. 4, 8, 4, 9 is 36. So, 36 is a multiple of 4. So, what can we tell with this number? 1936 is divisible by 4. Okay. So, by seeing the last two digits, if that last two digit value is a multiple of 4, then you will tell that the given number is a divisible by 4. If last two digit is not multiple of 4, you can tell that it's not a, it's not divisible by 4, okay. So, if you have other number, for example, 286, here you have 286, here you have 1s, 10s and 100, okay. So, here you have to see 1s and 10s place number. 1s and 10s place number we have 86, right? 
is 4 4 divisible by 86 is 86 a multiple of 4 children 4 twos are 8 6 we are getting 4 ones are 4 so we are getting remainder as 2 if we get the remainder as 0 for any number which is divisible by that particular number we can tell that it's divisible by that number here as we are getting remainder as 2 we can tell that 86 is not a multiple of 4 okay it's not a multiple of 4 so we can tell that 286 is not divisible by 4 okay so you have to see last two digit number if that number is multiple of 4 then you can tell that this number is a divisible by 4 otherwise you can tell that it is not divisible by 4 okay